hello and welcome to Ask McCorkle, where we look at current events and answer questions from the vampire perspective. We being me, of course. Today's current event, Cancel Culture, where being offended and finding things offensive has given you the power to completely stop whatever it is that you find offensive. And now that this has gotten so ridiculous that there is an uproar over a plastic potato and a cartoon horny French skunk, people are taking more issue with this. The problem is that as a society, we've allowed I'm offended to rule the day and stop certain things from happening. Was it any surprise that it would build to ridiculous levels and become a kind of censorship of society? Any thinking person could have seen this coming. Cancel culture really is just a politically correct and thus socially acceptable form of censorship. With the I'm offended crowd caterwauling the whole way and causing it. If you want to cancel, cancel culture, you're going to have to toughen up and tell people so what when they tell you I'm offended. Today's question is does coffee affect vampires? And to that I answer not the way you would think. Caffeine and any nutritional input really doesn't affect vampires at all. We are as as evidenced by the fact that we're alive, simply reanimated corpses. We don't take in nutrition. We don't have metabolic functions. So while I can drink coffee, if I like the taste of it, I do not get the benefits of it as in a caffeine jolt. Of course, I will never get the jitters if I drink too much. But what goes in must come out. So the only effect that coffee has or any kind of intake of any kind of food or liquid that it has on me is that I will have to eventually eliminate it from my body. Other than that, coffee has no effect. Neither will caffeine or any other food intake. Today's question and advice column comes again from Yahoo Answers. Totally random, totally anonymous, just taking off of there to have something to say. And this question is, would you dump your girlfriend if she wanted to spend all your money and kept demanding or asking for stuff like new expensive shoes? Oh, man. I would dump her so hard. <clears throat> Basically, you don't have a girlfriend. You have a whore. If all she wants is your money. Uh, and quite frankly, if all, the, if all that your girlfriend is doing for you is sex, then you can get a much cheaper whore by just paying for one outright. And you both will know what the score is. So yeah, I would definitely dump any girlfriend that was just in it for the money, the shoes, and the gifts, and whatever else. 
don't waste your time with women or men or anyone who's just in it to get what they want and what they can get for themselves. If they're not willing to put out effort for you, then why put effort into them? And this has been Ask McCorkle, where we have looked at current events and answered questions and given some solid advice. If you liked this, give it a like, share, and subscribe. Feel free to leave any comment below. And if you have a question or you would like to seek some advice from the vampire perspective, again, leave a comment below and I'll get to it as I can.